Here we go. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Louisa Hamachek from the uh, Columbia River Basin Stewardship Alliance. And um, sometimes I talk to you from uh, the Upper Willamette. And this is a map of the Upper Willamette. And this is my local river map. Louisa drew this. So tell us where we are and show people where you're talking um, right about. Right where all these rivers come together is Eugene. Uh -huh. Right there is Eugene. And various rivers around here. And I live up in the mountains here. And then Cottage Grove is down here. And then goes further up and gets to uh, um, Corvallis and Albany. And then the Sandy Am comes in from over here. And then we're going up the 5 freeway all the way up. And then from there. But now, yeah, wait like a minute. We go come backwards. up here and you can see here, this is her other map. Back up to the whole map, if you would, so yeah. that we don't start guiding there. We're, and we go like to the middle of Oregon. This is Oregon. To the middle of Oregon is there. Um, That's about where we're at. And from there, and so from from... There to there is the upper Willamette. Right. Right there. And look at the and difference right where Portland there. is. Explain to them what this map is. Louisa, I'd like you to explain both these maps because okay. this is pretty uh, interesting. What is this top map that says Nuclear Northwest? Okay. What, I, what is this? This is a map of what most people in America refer to as the Northwest, but it kind of ends in Canada. That's dotted line is Canada. There's the U.S. So here's the top of USA America, and um, here's the Northwest, Washington and Oregon were most considered the Northwest, but really it's to the Rocky Mountains. And so it's from the ocean to the Rocky Mountains. And then down here kind of ends in, uh, this is the Snake River, and it comes from Yellowstone. Oh. So when you see Yellowstone, YS is Yellowstone right there. So uh, that's the Rocky Mountains are at a slant. And the, and the Cascades are these mountains, rank, 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 rank. and they're the next bigger ones, and they're at a slant like that, and they come into the uh, uh, Olympics. And then over here is the smaller mountains, is the coast range. It protects us from the tsunami that is expected that will cover everywhere from Arcata to uh, Bellingham, right because here. Because of that fault quake, that yep. quake this, fault that's this, very active. This is the region of the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake. This is the fault right here where so my pen is. Juan de Luca or something like that? No, nope, this is, it's called the Cascadia, so CSZ, the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake. And the fault is here. And it will uh, shove the Pacific Ocean plate underneath the continental plate and that will make this go blip, boom. And when it goes blip, it will slosh within 15 minutes everything it just shook for five minutes up this coast. This will be bigger than anything in historic American times. Oh, A five-minute shake, like the Loma Prieta earthquake in um, Santa Cruz in 1989 was... So, but right by just Trojan. A minute, that was 30 seconds. This is going to be five minutes of a strong shake. 9.2 is expected. So, we have... Uh, uh, the, the Red Cross this. disaster assistance team has been told that um, almost all the buildings on the coast here will come down. 50% uh, of the buildings in the Willamette Valley and the bridges will come down. And then the cascades will muffle the effect. But in the last few years, they've discovered um, uh, a fault line that is 10 miles underground that goes under the cascades and reaches to this area, the Columbia Basin. The Columbia Basin is made by the Columbia River coming down from Canada, whipping around the Columbia Basin, and then curving towards the sea, hitting uh, the Cascades, making it through the Cascades in the Columbia Gorge with all the wind. And then it curves from Portland. Here's the big city of Portland. Goes up and curves to the ocean and exits into the ocean here. Here's Hanford Nuclear Bomb Works, and then in the 80s they ended the bomb works and they kept the Columbia Generating Station going there as a power generator, which now makes 3 to 4% of the electricity for the yeah. Northwest. The or we could say the power. 4%. The Northwest and 10% yeah. for Washington. So you can change the statistics all you want. You could talk about Washington State and you could say, oh, it makes how much percent? 8%? Or something yeah, but it doesn't. Of, of Washington. Then you could say of the Northwest. So however you want to play with the statistics, doesn't make enough to warrant the fallout that would happen if this had a Fukushima-like effect. When, from the not earthquake. if, when. Yeah, when, no, but 
the Fukushima-like effect is if this is still running, so it should be sure, turned off safely as soon as possible because this is 100 years overdue, this Cascadia subduction earthquake. And um, it now is known that uh, that 10 mile deep thing can reach under the cascades and the cascades will not muffle it and it could reach to here and then it would shake it and break the cooling systems and the um, power would uh, it would have a meltdown and then the meltdown would create hydrogen gas in the containment building which is already going to be broken um, because it's been admitted by the uh, producers and engineers that it's not um, built to the earthquake level that we've now found out it can experience. They say it's now it can go to a 6.4 now. Yeah, over there, but this is 9.2 and can reach right. over there. This right. and then as well, what Lonnie's talking about is from the city of Yakima right here over to there is like three or four fault lines that were uh, like within a mile of the surface. The other one is a big deep crack, part right. of the plate tectonics. This one is surface ones that translates the big movements. It's very and dangerous. And can be created by, this is Mount uh, St. Helens that already blew and is still gurgling out and blowing. This is Mount Rainier. Is it expected to blow? And it can clog everything with all of its ash, all the cooling, ventilating, blah, blah, blah. It, um, when Mount St. Helens blew, the ash created a mud dam in the Columbia River that was backing up to Trojan Nuclear Power Plant, and unless Navy SEALs got in there and blew it up, which people didn't hear about in the news, it would have inundated the nuclear power plant right wow. there. Wow. And then that would have had a, a meltdown. Say that again? Electric. What happened? When Mount St. Helens blew, down the Thule River came yeah. this uh, pyroclastic mud flow, and it came oh into my here, God. and that went into the Columbia right there. And uh, right there, and then that is was a few miles... Uh, like five miles downriver of the wow. Georgia power plant, which was operating then. It has been shut, it has been dismantled, it's been blown up. and But near there is now the nuclear waste that was from all the years of operating this Trojan nuclear power plant, which they're not allowed to move because there's no place in the country to move it to. So uh, that's wow. legal yet. And they keep trying to move it to Hanford, and they moved like the uh, coolant, they moved the reactor core to Hanford. Hanford has like 13 reactor cores at it. Wow. Hanford has uh, leaking uh, humongous tanks of uh, plutonium goo that is also radioact is radioactive and um, soluble, you know, stinky stuff, bad chemicals, and mixed together, which creates a three type of a pollution thing that is going to be released and is already being released and is in a plume that is getting bigger and bigger every year from these leaking stupid tanks that are from the bomb making days. But we can stop the easiest thing by turning off the Columbia Generating Station as soon as safely possible, at just like tomorrow, start the procedures for shutdown. And um, then uh, all that waste has to stay there because there's no place in the country where it can go to. But aren't they cute? They've created their own little uh, pretend power company that they say is a, uh, running it, that is a, a, a collection of uh, rural electric co cooperatives of the Northwest run it, so the government is not liable, I bet, is what they're trying to do. They are not. If you read the Price-Anderson Act, they are not liable. Right, and that is... The operators so it, are liable to a certain extent. Yeah, so really this is a leftover... The taxpayers are going to get all the This brunt. is a U.S. Department of Energy project to make bombs. Now tell me why that is. They've, uh, they've been running it and telling this Energy Northwest company what to do, which is actually really just a little part of Bonneville Power Administration. But what's that? Pretend that's a people's cooperative. That is a part of the U.S. government as well. So the whole thing that runs all the dams of the Columbia River um, was a lot of that was to make the power to make uh, But I mean, just bombs. look at the look at the denial of the level uh, that they say the cancer rates. Like, they are denying oh, that... Yeah, let me show you some of that. See, I wrote down Winders because when uh, Hanford was running, they got hold of new Geiger counter things, and they wanted to do experiments. This Nazi type of scientists here were doing experiments all the time, and then they wanted to do one to see how well the new Geiger counter things work, so they installed them all around the northwest, around the Columbia Basin. And during the time where they expected the weather to be what it was, they were hoping it was going that way, I guess, the green run happened where they did they released hot radioactive very volatile changing uh, gas of iodine gas and then they went to see how it went around and how their things measured it well 
and the, it landed on the grass I'm near Spokane. Close. The city of Spokane is right downwind, and it's 250,000 souls, and on either side are, new, are Indian reservations. The Spokane Indian Reservation, Coeur d'Alene, over here is the Nez Perce Reservation. So it blew this way. There's downwinders with thyroid cancer, and their children, and their wives, and all that are in this area. Almost everybody of this area knows a sibling with thyroid cancer from that experiment they did. And it was only found out from after Hanford got shut down, there was a Freedom of Information Act, a bunch of information that was finally about a year or two later discovered. They referred to the Green Run, and they discovered what it was. And sure enough, in the plume of the radioactive fallout that came of this iodine gas with iodine gas, that was a fallout by itself without particles. Um, the plume of the gas uh, parallels the uh, um, thyroid cancer and the sickness and death that has followed. And thyroid cancer, luckily, you can yank out the thyroid bad one and put in a new one. Yeah, you're pretty much. And so then you take pills. So luckily, that's my one sister that you can had deal thyroid cancer. She had that. She mm -hmm. had her thyroid. And that. from many of the radioactive um, installations around the country of um, making radioactive materials mm. or operating power plants or making stuff, mm. um, there's people with thyroid cancer. Well, I think it's really outrageous. I'm really angry about the nuclear apologists. That's my thing. Is like I'm not going to allow nuclear apologists on my website. People saying nuclear radiation well, does not what do you cause mean cancer. By a nuclear apologist? Okay. By the people who are yeah. saying it's not that harmful. Mm -hmm. It's not that it hasn't really killed anybody, which is a big lie. There, we have a cancer epidemic. We, it mm -hmm. came with the nuclear technology that was I'd like denied. To, I, I'd like to take a parallel map, which I'll come back to, to put the Fukushima Daiichi area, because those people are told to be quiet, but we've been right. getting lots of information. This would be a similar story to, and like Kiev for Chernobyl is the same like distance. Like Kiev is about the same as, as how, Spokane how far is for Hanford. How far is Spokane? I, I can't remember. We've got to remember. Oh, uh, I forget again. We'll get it. More than 100 miles oh, well, here's now. Here it is. 150 is this distance, so um, three fingers, 100 is 100 miles. It's not the so, third finger, yeah. so it's 100 miles. Or so, okay. Um, from Hanford. And so, but I swear the winds blew, blow generally always from the west to the east, so it'll go to Washington, D.C., it'll go to Chicago. This. this is really awesome, Lou. I am super impressed. Louisa Hamachek is the artist and designer of this map. And I think it is freaking outstanding. And we would love to get this into mass production. So we need somebody who knows how to put this somewhere where we could start making it readily available, don't you think, Louisa? Yeah, and, and we'll put it out. We'll scan it and put it as a PDF on Lonnie's website. And uh, Nuke Info Project is uh, developing a website to put all this out on. Uh, pay, pay attention to this type of thing. Um, the rivers go in the valleys. So what you see is a valley. The winds will blow like this and hit the Rockies and go down along the Snake River Valley where most of the sugar and potatoes are grown for our country. And so that's going to be fallout on all your food. Would you want this on a T-shirt? Yeah. Because I think that would make a cool T-shirt yeah. for the back of a T-shirt, don't okay. you think? But um, let's see. So I want you to think about... Give somebody a back rub just looking at the Hanford website. <laughs> yeah, pointing out all these things. So Sorry. Before we finish about this uh, concept, which oh, is... Oh, we're into 13 minutes, Louisa. Okay. Are you okay with that? Well, let's tidy it up because okay, we don't I'm want to make finish this it up now. Are we ready? Are we rolling? Yes. Okay, I'm going to finish it up. Hanford is my biggest concern, and the first thing to do at Hanford is the wind part, the fallout is to shut down. That's the danger and from a meltdown. So we need to shut that nuke. But let's look at Shut over. down what? The shut Columbia? Shut down the nuke called the Columbia Generating, Generating Station, Station at Hanford. CGS. And if you live in the Northwest, call your utility company and tell them, we don't want the nuclear power from Columbia Generating Station. It's not that helpful. That's not that much beneficial. And I want to point out another thing. Go ahead. We have a Congress in our country, but it's getting to be as if we don't have any power to have our Congress have any power over the Department of Energy. But the Congress must oversee the Department of Energy, and this must be shut down by our Congress. So you must 
hold your Congress accountable to not be chicken, to uh, design what happens for the safety of all the people, and not be pushed around by the military to told that we don't have any information, we can't tell you anything because we have nuclear materials and it's sensitive about strategic things and the terrorists. I don't care. I don't want that thing running anymore. I want it turned well, off. Well, Louisa, this gets into the IAEA and the NRC. They What is IAEA? The International Atomic Energy Agency. Okay. They run the entire fucking world, and they're... Right. they're don't talk off camera. Excuse my language. Yeah. And, uh, no, I don't care about that, but I, what I care about is um, just to get a roundup of the nuclear Northwest on this video, and we'll get back to you on each of those other things separately. We're going to try to do short videos so that you can focus, but... Um, be aware that there's downriver problems, like this goo coming from Hanford goes to uh, uh, these towns that, that irrigate their uh, fruit that you eat. So check out where your fruit comes from, and, um, and all along the Columbia, and down to here, and then clams come from all over here, and fish, salmon and stuff, don't eat it. Anywhere's downriver of Hanford. It's already leaking. That's bad. But I want to talk to you about fallout because it will blow generally across America. Okay, so let's stop this. We're at 1602. So I'm going to stop and we'll start this again. We'll talk to you in a minute, you guys. Ciao.